Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Wizard Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, December 2nd, 2020. Let's please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good job, and please join me in our school pledge. And remember, this is not just for Taft. This is for all of our schools in Washingtonville. So if you don't come to Taft, you can put Round Hill, Little Britain, whatever your school is there. As a proud member of Taft Elementary School, I will be safe, be respectful, be responsible, and show self-control. Good job, boys and girls. I hope that you practice those um those qualities each and every day, wherever you go, not just in school, but at home, at your family's house, and out in public. So I said that today is December 2nd. It is a Wednesday. The high weather for today, the high temperature for today is 41. It is a little cold out right now, very cold actually. So make sure that you get outside later today when it warms up and get some fresh air. It is an E day. E is an elephant and it's a Wednesday. So listen carefully so you know what you're doing for specials today. If you are normally a full virtual student all the time, if you're normally a full virtual student, you have free choice special for today. That's your normal plan every Wednesday. You have free choice special for today if you're full virtual. Now, if you're a hybrid student, you normally come to school on a Wednesday and today is an E day. If you have library, music, or PE on an E day and you normally come to school on Wednesday, you will meet with that teacher. If you have art today and it's an E day and you normally come to school on Wednesday, the whole class will meet for art. If you're a hybrid student and you don't come to school on Wednesday, you come to school only Thursday, Friday, you also have free choice special today. I hope that didn't confuse you. You can push pause, rewind, and play again. So hopefully I said it correctly. Our lunch today, if you ordered yesterday, you can come pick it up between 10.30 and 12.30. It's Big Daddy's Pizza with tossed salad, served with chilled milk and fruit, and the sandwich for today is an Italian combo. And the lunch for tomorrow, make sure you order it by tonight. It's Wizard McRib Sandwich with oven fries, baked beans, served with chilled milk and fruit, and tomorrow's sandwich is ham and cheese. So boys and girls, if you know of any other boys and girls in the neighborhood that need brec or lunch, I, I think you can actually also order breakfast online. Go to the website and you can see how to order. Um, you are allowed to pick up for other families. That family just needs to put the person's name in who's picking up for them. So if I can't pick up for my child, I can put in, you know, my sister's name will pick up for my child or my neighbor will pick up. So let's please reach out and help our community members because breakfast and lunch is free for everybody. So if you're normally in school, we would serve it to you here, but you're home, so you need to come here to get it. Um, we cannot deliver it. But if you know somebody who needs a lunch or a breakfast, maybe you could reach out to them and say, hey, I'll pick it up. I'm picking up my child's lunch and breakfast. So let's help each other out. Maybe work out a routine where somebody does it, you know, take turns each week or each day or something. That's a, a good community um, that works together to help each other. So our quote for today from Choose Love, it says, make a list of gifts to give rather than receive. So a lot of times, boys and girls, this time of year, you start thinking about all the things that you want and you make your wish list of things that you want. How about today, you make a list of gifts that you can give. So what I used to do is I would make a list of all of the people that I love in my life, my family and my friends, and then next to each of their names, I would write down gifts that they might like. Doesn't mean I'm gonna get them all for them, but it gives me ideas of, oh, my sister really likes this, this, and that. So maybe I could pick one of those things to get for her. So today, let's make a list of gifts that you can give. All right, boys and girls, we have a contest for today. Let me open it up and I'm gonna show it to you. This is from the Taft PTA. This image will be in your email, so it's okay. But it says, guess how many Hershey Kisses are in the jar. So boys and girls, take a look at this picture. And again, it's in your parents' email. You need to write your guess 
on Facebook or Instagram by tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. So you have from now until tomorrow morning to write your guess. The closest guess will win the jar of Hershey Kisses. If there are multiple guesses of the correct answer, then a random drawing will be deciding, will decide the winner. So if let's just say five of you guess the exact number, then randomly one person will get picked out of that five. If you don't have Facebook, you can email Mrs. Pickens. She's our PTA president, and the email is on the flyer. So you'll be able to see that in your email. It's okay if you don't have Facebook or Instagram, you can um, email your guest to her. So good luck with the Hershey Kiss guessing game. I hope that you can guess the correct number and win that large jar of Hershey Kisses. So our National Day celebrations today. Today is National Mutt Day. Um, so a mutt is a term for a dog of mixed breeds. So Archer is not a mutt. He's an English Mastiff. He's a full breed. But a lot of dogs, all of my dogs growing up, you know, as a child were mutts. So today is a day where we recognize um, all the mutts, especially those who are desperate for homes. So there's different shelters that you can go to to adopt a dog, but please make sure that you're prepared because some of those dogs need special help or special needs. You can actually go to um, search the internet to find out different breed styles. Like for example, if you have a breed that is like Archer, like an English Mastiff, he is a couch potato and he does not need a lot of playing or walking. So that's kind of nice. I, I kind of like that dog. I don't like high energy. But if you like dogs that have high energy and you like to go for runs and you play ball with them all day, you might want something that has an Australian Shepherd or a Dalmatian or something like that more active. So please make sure that you look into the type of dog before you get it to make sure that they fit your family lifestyle. And also, if you can't adopt an animal or a dog today, maybe you can reach out to the local shelters and help. They're always looking for donations of dog food, cat food, um, paper towels, cleaning supplies, regular towels and blankets, things like that that you don't use anymore that are ripped and, and yucky, but they could really use them at the animal shelter. So the closest animal shelter to us is the Blooming Grove. Um, let me see, I found their website, I'll show it to you. The Blooming Grove Humane Society. So you can always find them on the internet and you can find out where they are and what their hours are and give them a call of what they need. And I also, I yelped um, all different animal shelters near us. So the Blooming Grove Animal, the, the Blooming Grove Humane Society is here, but there's also one in Goshen. There's the Hudson Valley SPCA. Um, there's a lot of different resources that you can go to where you can help out a mutt in need. Because boys and girls, having a dog is a lot of work, and maybe that's not something that your family can do, but you can help out other dogs at the shelters. So that's National Mutt Day. It is also National Special Education Day. So boys and girls, this is a day that we remember back in 1972, there was a brand new um, education law signed. We call it IDEA. It stands for Individuals with Disabilities Act. So Mrs. Williams was a special education teacher for 13 years or more. I can't remember now. But I started my career as a special education teacher working with boys and girls who have different special needs or disabilities. Um, and this law came into effect in 1972 because before that, if you had a special need or a special disability, you did not have to get educated by the school. So a lot of boys and girls that needed special support were on their own or their parents had to pay for a private school to get their special support. So now we have special supports right here in the school and it doesn't, and all the kids are mostly integrated. So you don't even know who has special needs. Actually, I feel like everybody has special needs. We all have different needs and all of our teachers take time to meet those needs. But IDEA is actually especially special for people with classified needs. So that was interesting fun fact for today. And the food for today, National Fritters Day. I don't know if you've ever had a fritter, but it's a little fried, um, fried dough and on the inside, sometimes it could be something sweet like chocolate chips or it could be something like um, with chicken or cheese inside. So today is National Fritter Day. So maybe you can find a place that sells some fritters or you can find a recipe to make some fritters. So I hope you enjoy your Wizard Wednesday. Your teachers are looking forward to seeing you online at around nine o'clock. So make sure you follow all of their directions and get your work done. And don't forget to have your parents check your their email for the, um, the guessing, the Hershey Kiss guess game. So good luck with that and I'll see you tomorrow.